Assalamualaikum and welcome back to our discussion. We're going to talk about how can parents spot the signs of autism. Can you tell us what some of the early signs of autism that parents should be aware of in young children? So the most common cause, mm -hmm. okay, of concern is probably speech delay. Okay, yeah, right. okay, we'll right. That, yes. yes. Also, there may be a concern that the child might be deaf. But unlike deaf children, a child with autism seems to respond to sound. In fact, they are very sensitive. The research actually says that the overexposure or high stimulations of sounds from the surrounding is a kind of an abuse for children with ASD. Other signs uh, that uh, parents should be aware would be how the child may use pointing to get things or they may just pull the parents by hand and it's often with either limited eye contact or with no eye contact at all and also you can see that they do not seem to be interested in sharing attention that means it's one way for children for ASD, one of the thing is that they're very sensitive to textures. Mm -hmm. There's two things. One is the sensitivity and also the stimulation of it. Let's say a needle is being pricked. You get the pricking sensation somewhere in the outer layer here. But because of their oversensitivity, the pricking sensation can even go deep down to their nerves. So that's where you can see them doing, you know, some sort of reactions that you like. It's after all, it's just a, it's just a prick. Ah, yeah, it's a prick of a needle, you know. So same goes to food. When they do not like the texture of the food, you see them actually swallowing the food instead of chewing it. So parents will be thinking, oh, that's a dub, good. But actually, uh, there are some early signs. Uh. Normally, at what age do the symptoms of autism typically start to appear? Some parents, especially first-time parents, they may not have realised anything unusual about their child's behaviour. Until the child is 18 or 20 months, when you see the child is not speaking, even you can actually see it when the child is born mm -hmm. up to the 12 months of their age. For example, we talk about social relatedness problems. You tend to see this infant between the 0 to 12 12 months actually showing interest in odd or unusual aspects of the environment such as rocking okay. in a corner mm -hmm. or you see a child choosing an um, unusual transitional object for comfort for example children like something for cuddle and it is recommended we use soft toys yeah. but then they prefer to choose something that moves are there any specific exercises or tests that can help parents to spot early signs of autism? No, I wouldn't recommend. Anything, anything at home. I wouldn't recommend parents to actually take charge. I would say it's the best thing is that the parents refer to the health experts because the parents' interpretation of their child's behavior usually is misled by biases and they do not realize that they're actually affecting the child's yeah. development my suggestion would be document see now we are exposed to so many devices even your handphones you can just you know have recorded mm -hmm. track down what is the the child's daily routine which will be eventually useful when you are seeking for help, for referral, seeking the uh, advice of people within the, the surrounding community. It's not a good idea because you tend to get confused at the end of the day. Okay. And we have a lot of unexperienced parents probably are not in that situation will give you the wrong idea mm -hmm. in the first place. How important is early intervention towards the children themselves? Autism, simply put, is a neurodevelopmental disorder. It's not a disability, it's a disorder. It is related very much on the cognitive functioning. It's to do with your saraf. Autism is not a homogeneous fashion. I would like to quote YB Hajanensi Shukri. He said, I came to know that they said they identified 26 types of spectrums of uh, ASD. The spectrums, the variation of behaviors, it's like snowballing every day, you know. Today it's like this, tomorrow it's like that. Yeah. Because of the spectrum, it has to be modified. And we need to individualize the interventions, okay, okay, to meet the unique needs of each child. So thank you so much, Dr. Chris, for today. Till we meet again, Assalamualaikum.